Hey guys, Unicorn Pondu here. Welcome back to another video. So, Chantal decided to upload another mukbang. I know, I thought we were safe from that one video, but nope, we got more food content incoming. It is called Pasta Homemade Soup and Croissant, or sorry, Croissant Sandwich Mukbang. So, I guess um, with that out of the way, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you, how are you? Well, today I have a meal from my kitchen. So I, I'll explain in a minute, but first to drink, I have some Diet Pepsi. Okay, yikes. So she's really happy and just really excited to be here. She's definitely not mad at all. And no, 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 no. She's really happy. <laughs> and I have a salad here from my diet kit, my meal kit, which I added a little bit of shredded mozzarella. I have this soup here. I made the soup myself. Homemade uh, butternut squash soup. Um, so I got to put this on the ground because here. Again, animal neglect. I said what I said. She wants to stare at the bubbles. <laughs> so I'll insert here how I made it. All right, so the squash are finished. I put them in the oven for uh, maybe an hour and 10 minutes on 425 degrees. Huh, I've never really thought about what people make squash out of. Huh, the more you know. They seem very done. I'm gonna cut them open and make a soup out of it. Okay, now I'm sauteing some red onion. Also, I realized down here she has YouTube's policies on eating disorder, so she knows what she's doing, 100%, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, girl, I see you. Green onion, spring onion, and some garlic, and some olive oil. Okay, so, I added about four to five cups of water, and, uh, I don't really measure to be honest, but... And some chicken stock, two cubes. Maggi. Now, of course, there's some steps missing. I basically just added the squash after that. <laughs> yeah, God forbid you actually show us what you did. Oh, well, there's a few steps missing. Yeah, the, the the squash part of the of the soup making, girl, come on. Foodie beauty, everybody can't even show us how she makes her food. She just, you know, there's steps missing. Yeah, girl, the important ones. I wanted to see, like, what you did with that. Come on. It was already cooked, and then I just blended everything, and I love this soup. Remember I had the pumpkin parmesan soup from that one meal? Uh, weeks ago, so this is I love it. Yeah, so she, yeah, again, like I, like I said, really, really happy. <laughs> it's not not mad and doing hand hand gymnastics and everything at all. Nope, absolutely not. Okay, so um, I'm also I have to eat this because it will go bad. This breakfast croissant, which I didn't have for breakfast. <laughs> well, anyways, um, reach Pinky. Mm hmm. Breakfast. <laughs> Um, and from the, the diet meal kit, I think it has like chicken salad on it. And then I just have this like pasta. It's like macaroni and spaghetti with olives in Arabic, olive is zaytun and some chicken sausage and some chicken and some, it smells really good. Tomato sauce. I put parm on it. And this is a, looks like a mini saffron cake. I can smell rose water in it. So bismillah, I'm going to have some of my yummy soup. I tried it. Wait, girl, this is homemade, and yet you still have plastic utensils. I was just like, yeah, oh, wow, well, she's actually going to be eating up. Nope, there's still plastic utensils. Dude, does she not own any? Like, girl, come on. I put some salt, pepper, and some turmeric. That's the only spices um, and herbs I put in it. I didn't have leeks, so I used spring onion. It's like a pomegranate dressing. Oh, pomegranate syrup almost tastes like... Pomegranate molasses, to me, tastes like balsamic vinegar a little bit when you mix it with vinegar. So again, I- Good job. Foodie beauty, everybody. Foodie beauty. I don't always feel like eating out, honestly, especially lately. Oh, lies. The biggest lies. I don't like eating out all the time. Lies. Lies. <laughs> Why are you lying for, girl? Come on. Um, as I'm getting more into the intuitive eating, um, I see a lot of people joking about that. She intuitively felt like eating half a pizza. Okay, I had three slices. If you Google- <laughs> Uh, girl, no. It's, it's the fact that you intuitively ate a pizza. And it's just like, no. I'm being satiated right now, guys. Hold on. Mm -hmm, yeah. Am I situated? No. I think I need, an, I need a little bit more. 
So come on. Well, that's the norm for people to eat. And yeah, I intuitively want a pizza. Exactly. That's exactly how it works. I could have easily binged. Okay, me binging. That's the difference right there. A binge would be me eating the whole pizza. And then <laughs> She's so mad. Girl, why are you so mad for? For people not falling for your own Lulus? Come on. You can't be... Girl. <laughs> okay, Chantal. You know what? Okay. And more. <laughs> but I had three slices and stopped when I was full. So actually, yes, that was... The idea is to learn how to eat pizza normally, not avoiding it entirely. It's actually very good progress. <laughs> All right, so... You know that she was just like... I, also, I love how she was like, you know what? And another thing as she was editing that. She wasn't done. She has a lot to say about this intuitive eat, pizza eating, apparently. Let's try a bite of this. Hates it. Hates it. She's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> There's dill. I'm making a big dill about the dill. So this, they cook all of their meals. They prepare all their meals, which I like. So yeah, sometimes I'll order out, sometimes I won't, but I'm going to have dinner with you guys. Um, I know people were saying, I wanted to talk a bit about the policies of... Here we go. It's against TOS. I'm pretty sure, Chantal. Don't even start this. It's going to be about the BED and oh my goodness. Yada 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 girl, it's against TOS. You glorifying uh, ED is against TOS. Allegedly. Just wanted to say that just in case I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling I'm not. Eating disorder policy of YouTube. So if you look it up, which I have, to, to avoid being ignorant on the subject, and... Okay, well, I mean, if you, if you could do that to, like, everything else in your life, that would be a really great, for, like, first step of becoming a halfway, maybe semi-what decent human being, but you won't. It, it's only to prove the hater has the beach is wrong, so... Yeah. It was a start, but like she didn't get very far. By the way, the soup is like sweet a little bit. I think it's more tailored to anorexia. And because they have clauses that specifically talk about um, glorifying it, like not eating weight, uh, body shaming, uh, body shaming uh, weight in re regards to um, eating disorders and things like that. The wording was interesting, but there's nothing in there about binge eating. They don't specifically say name eating disorders, but at the same time, they do mention that they want to encourage people to continue to share their stories. So me talking about my eating disorder and showing my struggles and my how I'm choosing to eat in recovery. Yes, because the, the person that's trying to not be morbidly obese really needs a, a, like a bowl of pasta. Yeah, that that's just one one step in her grand journey, guys, to get better. Pasta. Now, I'm not saying you can never have pasta if you're bigger. Of course not. But this is also the woman that's had Taco Bell, that's had Chinese food, that's had uh, just, I, there's too many to remember within the past week for me to, to, to mention or, you know, what have you. So yeah, girl, have um have fun. Like I said before, if you want to be the Lulu, you can be the Lulu all you want, but don't, don't be surprised if people are not going to be following your Delulu. Is all considered sharing my story. I'm not sitting here saying, hey guys, come binge with me. Yeah, but just replace the word binge with E and a massive amount of food. What, what's the difference? There, there literally is none. Now, I'm not saying that this is like a, oh my god, this is so much food. It's been probably probably enough for two people, yeah, but... Girl, don't, don't try to play stupid when you, when you know what we're talking about here. Come on. I'm also not eating a dangerous amount of food, which in that case, compared to most mukbangers. Why do you keep comparing yourself to other people? You aren't other people. You are you. Quit trying to bring everybody, everybody else into this. We're talking about Chantal. We are not talking about everybody else. We're talking about you. I mean, they would have to get rid of all mukbangers, thin or fat, but even competitive eaters. That's not binge eating. Binge eating is a psychological disorder. It's not just how much people who overeat don't necessarily have binge eating disorder. That's where it gets into the semantics and key points here. Maybe you think a meal is for 800 people, but it's not, okay? Like my video where I was eating a salad and a side of sweet potato fries, someone was like, oh nice, you're glorifying a binge eating disorder by eating for a family of eight. Like if you're feeding your family a few side fries and a, a, you're splitting a single salad, like somebody should call the freaking uh, protective services on you for mis for underfeeding your family because that's what is with oh my gosh Chantal 
What is this, honestly? Quit worrying about other people. You aren't other people. You are Chantal. You you outright said, I have BED, and wanted a what was me moment, but then the second that people started on you about that, this is my journey, guys. Why are you shaming me about my journey? This is me trying to heal. I'm trying to heal through pizza. I'm trying to heal through Chinese food. Do you hear yourself? Do you wonder why people are starting to like either laugh at you or question you about this? If you don't, Chantal, that seems like a very personal problem, and... You're a lot stupider than I thought. I hate I hate sounding mean. I do, but at the same time, there's no getting through her head. It's just, we're just a bunch of pawns, and this is just Chantal's game at this point. I'm not saying go do that because some people will get that that idea. Don't do it. But I'm just using that as an example. That that's like I mean, come on, that's not family food. That's like individual. <laughs> Give me a break. And again, like why why do you care what other people's families eat? Are you jealous that you're not getting any of it? Probably. So I'm sorry to burst your bubble. But I have a right to talk about my journey on my channel. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, with that same logic, um, reaction channels have a right to watch you and laugh at you and comment on it. It's again, it's not against terms of service. Otherwise, I wouldn't be monetized, would I? I wouldn't think so. <laughs> the play goes both ways, sweetheart. I also have a right to eat what I want. Oh, 100%. If you want to gorge yourself on food, not my money, not my body, not my time, not my whatever. But again, don't be mad when people have to comment about it. The sword goes both ways. And eat on camera. Mm-hmm. Because the very thing I'm trying to avoid is this negative attitude towards food as an overweight person. That shame of, what are you eating on camera for? You're eating way too much. That perpetuates eating disorders. No, Chantal... To an extent, yes, but I feel like for the majority of us, it's common sense not to film ourselves gorging ourselves on thousands of calories per meal and then trying to profit off of it. Like, what are, what about that sentence do you not understand? Because I would maybe in this probably have the soup and the croissant. And then maybe if I was hungry later, like I might be like a 50-50, maybe have that little salad and not have that spaghetti noodle dish, whatever you have. You said that you were going to explain and you never did. Yeah, it's all about portions. This, like, what are you not getting here? So, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to be saucy. I'm just trying to be informative, like. Yeah, because people have been taking people really seriously about when when people talk like this and then there's just like, you know, this and that and the other. I don't know why people are trying to shame me. This and that and the other. This over here and that and there. Oh my god, other people. Oh my god, compared to the leaders. Oh my god, yeah, wow. I just can't believe that people. Yeah, people really do take people seriously when they have that sort of attitude, Chantal. They really, they really do. They really don't seem sarcastic. But yeah, wow. It's like you can uh, make points without having a stink piss poor attitude but you wouldn't know that would you that's just that's just your baseline personality oh my god also i i forgot about the the competitive eater thing yeah chantal they're they're there to see how fast they can eat food they're not there to like film themselves and like be like oh my goodness this hamburger is really situating. Do I need another? Oh, I think I need another one. Oh my goodness, this is so good. No, girl, they're there to scarf it down as fast as they can. Don't try to, like, lump yourself in that same category. So what are you guys having for dinner? <laughs> mm. Well, since you care so much about what other people um have, none of your business. <laughs> Butternut squash was on sale, so I thought, I'll make a really good soup. And it's honestly so high in fiber and vitamins. Mm. I love it. Girl, have you ever cared about vitamins and fiber <laughs> soup? <laughs> when have you ever cared about that? <laughs> uh, more Delulu, I love it. One of my favorite meals ever, soup and sandwich. A good soup and a good sandwich. Okay, um, okay, well, if there's the soup... And then there's sandwich, and then the salad, and then pasta. Yeah, there's a few extra things there, girly, that you added to that. I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but, um, yeah, that's a bit more than just a soup and a sandwich. I'm very sorry to tell you, or sorry, if you know, if you need a translation, Chantal. And it was so easy because if you want to trick, if you're making soup with squash, 
poke a hole, a few holes in it, put it on some aluminum paper. Okay, uh, no, you had that chance to show us and you didn't, so I'm just gonna skip forward because, um, you had your chance and you didn't take it. I should get a knife set, but honestly, I just, those are things that I just don't really care about. Like, if I can make do somehow, then I will. With what I have, you know? No, oh, that YouTube check, uh, not as strong as it used to be, Chantel. I bet it isn't. That's probably why. Otherwise, be like, oh my goodness, guys, look at my new knife set I got. Or at least, like, a few of them. Jeez, come on. We're pretty much just using the cutlery. So Salah had a pretty good kitchen setup, you know, for the size of his old place. His bachelor pad. <laughs> he still is a bachelor, allegedly. He just happens to have a roommate now. <laughs> so that's the policy. You can read it yourself. I can put a link to it if I remember. <laughs> but on uh, YouTube with the eating disorder. And I honestly think they were partly forced to, because of all the complaints and petitions they were getting about Eugenia Cooney um, and, the, and a lot of pro sites and stuff like that. She's more influential to young people because Let's face it, I don't have many young people watching me. Maybe childish adults, but not young. <laughs> uh, Chantal, that's really negligent of you to assume that you don't have any young people watching you. You, you more than likely do. And I'll never glorify a binge. Like I said, you can think that you've seen a binge on my channel, you haven't. Not once. I've overeaten, but so, do, so does anyone who does a mukbang. And it's also relative that how much the person ate for the rest of the day, which YouTube has no idea. So who are they to say? Okay, um, shut up. No one cares what you eat behind the scenes. It's what you're filming. That's what's important. That's what's being presented to us. That's what we're going to comment on. That's simple. We're going to demonetize your channel unless you eat 1500 calories in, in your channel. You know what I mean? They can't do that. <sighs> but if you're under eating and like, I hate my body. I want to starve myself. That kind of thing? But no, you know, if, if a morbidly obese person's gorging themselves on food, that's fine. That's fine by Chantal's rules. Okay, great, whatever. But whenever someone's starving themselves, no, that's when Chantal has a problem with it. Go get Ben Chantal, honest to God. I love my body. Um, safe to assume that that, um, that movie theater seat probably didn't, though. I love my body because God made me. I know I don't want to harm it with food, but again, my relationship with food has been disordered for many years. Oh, alhamdulillah. I have to say it again. By the way, I don't know why people like to, to put my behavior under a microscope and label it as good Muslim or not. Like, whether you're Muslim or not, if you're a human being, you should try to act nice. Just because you're not Muslim doesn't give you a pass to be an ass, you know? Like... These are rules that it's between me and God. Like, my sins are not for you okay, to Okay, well then, whenever it comes to someone else's, you know, whatever that you don't like, let it be between them and God. Why do you have to always have your opinion out? Bees and let bees let other people live how they want to live and mind your business, Chantal. It's not that hard. It's just, it's just that you're too much of a loud mouth to uh, understand that. You have to give us your opinions about everything. Shut up apart you know like a, a lot of people who judge me are christian like you have the same rules almost you know okay before you became a muslim that sure as hell did not stop you at any given point okay and just because it's off your channel chantal doesn't mean that those clips and videos don't exist just because i'm muslim and i believe in allah doesn't mean i'm not human and i don't make mistakes and i don't have issues and <laughs> you know, but when it's when it's been months at this point, months, not just you know like last month or something, a months like closer to a year than you would probably like to admit. You keep fucking up this badly, multiple times over and over and over again. You still haven't learned your lesson. Mind your business, shut up, and just let people live and without giving your opinion on it. Okay, thanks. I always find that weird. Mm, I like the salads. I'm, they're growing on me. <laughs> Ma'am, the salad is not making you grow. Anyways. Okay, I don't know. I think this is saffron cake, but... I smell cardamom and rose water. Which are very popular ingredients. Oh, I'm actually feeling like I'm gonna be stuffed after this. I'm gonna be satisfied. 
but it's nice and warm. Oh, no, no, after the food's gone. Oh, yeah, guys, I feel satiated and satisfied. Mm hmm Yep, just have to eat my dessert first, though. I can't forget the dessert. Oh, shut up. Let's try it. I can taste the cardamom. And clove, maybe? It's a spicy saffron cake. I love love Arabic desserts. Mahalabia, Hawala al Juban, uh, Basbusa, Panafa, Rose Haliba. Wow, that was a filling meal. Oh, maybe because I ate breakfast and lunch in one. <laughs> oh, you're probably going to eat more. More than likely. <sighs> well, that will keep me satisfied for a while. Okay, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to skip around and see if there's anything worthwhile because whenever the food's gone, her train of thought goes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so no. So that was infuriating as per usual with this woman. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.